Hello folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the ARS gas piston kit. This is a retrofit gas piston kit that will fit on any style AR-15 barrel with a 750 diameter gas block. In the kits you're going to receive a modified set of M4 handguards, you're going to receive your gas block, your opt-rod setup, gas regulator, your modified carrier, and a modified handguard cap. All the tools that you need to install this kit is a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench and a straight punch. To start with, your barrel or upper receiver should be stripped out to this. You need to remove your front sight post and your gas block. Before that you'll need to remove your flash suppressor and the crush washer. You should have your upper receiver like this there's no bolt carrier group in this upper receiver, there's no ammunition, it's completely empty. To start with, you're going to want to install your handguard cap. And to install your handguard cap, the cutout section that you'll see installs on the top because it's going to butt up against your gas block. Install this, the curved end towards the receiver until it stops. Install your gas block. Okay, now it's very simple to line this up. Um, these, it's, it's professionally drilled, precisely drilled to fit up against the uh, hole in the barrel for the gas port. Real simple way to do this, flip this upside down, let your flat top upper receiver against the flat top rail on the gas block. Line it up, make sure it's flush, and pressed against the end cap, and go ahead and tighten down one Allen screw. Now, take and go ahead and sight down the upper receiver behind you from the rear and from the front and go ahead and eyeball this. And you can make adjustments to this later on once you have the kit installed, but this will be a very close way to get this lined up. Now that that's lined up, go ahead and tighten up the rest of the three Allen screws with your 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. There's no recommended torque setting on these, but don't torque them too tight. You want to make sure that they're hand tight, but you don't want to over torque them. And if you feel the need to, you can go ahead and put a little bit of Loctite or some Vibratite on them. Once that's complete, set your upper receiver up. You're going to want to install the opt rod with the flat end towards the upper receiver, go in through the gas block. Make sure all of your holes are lined up. You can use your straight punch to line the delta ring and the snap ring. Make sure there's no bindage up going up on there. Slide that in. Now you're going to want to install your gas regulator next. On this gas block, Inside here is a small hole that you might not be able to see now, but I'll show a close-up picture of. It's right at the end of my punch, and inside of there is a spring-loaded ball bearing. And what this does is there's a groove cut inside the threads of this gas regulator, and it lines up and locks this in place. Once it's locked up in place, you're going to need your straight punch to remove it. Go ahead and install this through the front of the gas block, and it'll thread in. Turn it till it clicks, make sure that there's no free movement, and that your off rod has free movement inside the receiver again. Alrighty. Now you want to take your strip carrier that comes with the kit. This is a modified carrier that has a fixed gas key with a flat surface that the off rod will push against to cycle the action. It's a full auto style carrier that's got raised portions in the rear, and this is to provide um, added assurance that you don't have carrier tilt, and that's a common problem with gas piston AR-15s, and this has been added on here to prevent this. Go ahead and install, your, go ahead and put your bolt carrier group together.
Alright, once your carrier is installed, before you put the hand guards on, you're going to want to make sure that everything's fine with the carrier. There's no bondage, everything works fine. Go ahead and slide your charge handle into the upper receiver. Go ahead and install your bolt carrier. Slide it in. Doesn't appear to be any bondage, and you'll, pick, you'll, you'll test this again later on when it comes to the function test. I like to start off with putting on the top hand guard first. It always seems to be a little bit easier. You can do this a lot easier if you have a delta ring wrench. I uh, don't have one of those, so I just use it the old fashioned way. Slide that on. Now the bottom hand guard. Make sure that's tight. And there you have it the ARS gas piston kit installed.